Says the Yerigar Achaim, Parshas Vayera Vayidaber Likim Al Moshe Vayim Elav Ani Hashem. And Likim, the Achaim is telling us that Likim, we always know, is rather b'midas adin, which is why the Achaim is saying that Vayidaber Likim the Chayra means that he he spoke to him divrei mishpat, he gave him toichacha, he gave him musa. Hakadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyachol came with tainus to Moshe. What were these tainus? Says the says the Elgar Rachaim that the Pasuk says Vayoyim Eila of Ani Hashem. The tainus word to Moshe Kaviyachol Hakadosh Baruch Hu told Moshe, "You know that Ani Hashem." And Ani Hashem says the Rachaim means that I am a toiva ametiv. I only do toiv. How could Moshe possibly say to Hakadosh Baruch Hu Lomare Oisulam Azeh? Kaviyachal Moshe asking Hakadosh Baruch Hu, "Why did you cause this harm to Klal Yisrael?" Hakadosh Baruch Hu told Moshe, "There is no such thing. Kaviyachal Hakadosh Baruch Hu never causes harm to anyone. Not only that, but the Ani Hashem or Midosi, my Midas says the Rechaim is Midas Achesed v'Arachem and v'Toiv ani Lakoil. I'm Toiv to everyone." As the Novi says, "Mepieli in the seitz aros kim atoyv." As the pasuk says, "The seitz aros v'atoyv." Says the Rechaim, "What does it mean? The aros v'at the seitz aros v'atoyv?" Which kaviyochel sounds that not even good comes out, like not bad. The seitz aros, but also not toyv. Says the Rechaim, "The seitz aros v'atoyv." Is that there's one good thing that that doesn't come from a kodesh baruch hu direct, and that is up to the bechira of a person, and that is whether a person should be a tzaddik or a rasha. So fine, there's that one thing that is toiv that doesn't come from a kodesh baruch hu, but any other toiv comes from a kodesh baruch hu, and only toiv comes from a kodesh baruch hu. Not only that, says the says the Doirachaim, that every raw that happens in this world, we see in Tanakh again and again that the pasuk makes sure to say that it didn't come stem from a kodesh baruch hu as a gzera or as a something a kodesh baruch hu wanted to do, but other rabbi came because of the way they behaved. They came mikoyach arishoyim, as the pasuk says, kim arishoyim yetsiresha. The pasuk says, yem yetiyasirich raosech. Your own evil caused the pain. To meganim yadaveinenu, the the averes caused the pain. In other words, the Rechaim is showing us again and again that when it comes to any type of ra in this world, any type of bad, then of course that does not come from a kodesh baruch hu as far as that's what he wants. It might come because a person doesn't have a It might come because a person behaves in an evil man. Manner, so it's kind of a midi connected midi. However, when it comes to toiv, we always see in the pasuk, Hashem yitin atoiv, toiv Hashem lakoil. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu came uh, came to Moshe and said, "How could you say lamar So there's no such thing that bad harm should come from me." Says the Urachaim, the Hakadosh Baruch Hu continued to Moshe and said all these reasons. In other words, maybe this happened because the Klal Yisrael did Averis, and that's why a power increased the, the 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 hardship of the work that they were doing in Mitzrayim. Or maybe it was actually a toiv because, as we know, Chazal tell us instead of being there four hundred years, they were only there two hundred and ten years. Why? They worked very hard. So other Rabbi, this was a toiv, or maybe there was someone who didn't have enough emuna, and that caused them to have a punishment, as we know, Chazal tell us that the Zikainim who originally walked together with Moshe Aaron to Paris Palace stopped in their tracks and they went back. And Kaviyochel Hakadosh Baruch Hu was not happy with that. Tik Pidasham Aleim says the Rechaim. So therefore, again, if it wasn't good, it didn't come from a Kodesh Baruch it came from the own Averis. If it was good, then of course that came from a Kodesh Baruch But either way, there should be no place for Moshe Rabbeinu to say V'lomo Arayosa Leom has a I'll call upon him, says the Rechaim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lemaise said, and what am I going to do with your words? Even though technically HaKadosh Baruch Hu had this argument on Moshe, even though technically HaKadosh Baruch Hu was not okay with the way Moshe said, I'll call Oifun, says the says the Rechaim, and he noyeg be midas arachemim. We should diek loy mir avani Hashem, even though. I technically had all this argument to you that there is no such thing. So how could you say Lamar Yosa? Still, I'm going to go with you with Ani Hashem. I'm going to respond to you with Midas Rachmim. Why? Because the Chazal say Lemi Noise Oven Lemi Shoiver Al Pesha. Who does Hakadosh Baruch Hu behave to with the Midas Rachmim, the Midas for of of Erech to someone who does that to other people? And of course, we know that Moshe Rabbeinu was on of Ma'od. He was a Marvel Midosov. He would. 
put himself aside for anyone in this world. So therefore, says the Rechaim, even though Kaddish Baruch Hu started with Elikim, with Vaidabe Elikim El Moshe, with this argument of how could Moshe say Lama Ereyosa, Still, HaKadosh Baruch says, however, if with you I'm going to behave with Ani Hashem, why am I going to behave with you, Hashem, with you Ani Hashem? Because you behaved with Ani Hashem. And Mishari Freund was, of course, Mikri Adas Shalaim, who always tried helping other people. And one time he, was, he managed to get thousands of chickens before Rosh Hashanah for the Yom Tovim to be able to give out to the many Aniyim. He got himself a shoichet to get the work done for cheap. And he was able to, he was hoping at least, to cover many, many families to have food for Yom Tev. It was a three-day Yom, three Yom Tev, two days Rosh Hashanah, one day Shabbos. And someone came and pulled out the plug before Yom Tev. And of course, when it came out to Shabbos, they came to the fridge and everything was spoiled and everything was gone. And the people around them realized that he was going around Mamash for weeks saying, it's not him, it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's not him, it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's not him, it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So they asked him, Rabbeinu Lamdeinu, why aren't you saying, why aren't you saying it's Latoiva? So he answered them, I'm not there yet. First, I have to ingrain in myself the idea that it's not him, it's not this person who pulled the plug, but it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Eventually, I'll get to this idea of Kol Madav, the Rechman of the that everything is a Toive. The point is, the Rechaim is showing us, of course, that Moshe Rabbeinu Kavayochel HaKadosh Baruch Hu had this tain on him. HaKadosh Baruch Hu had the tiny where he said, Lama Reyosa. On the other hand, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Ani Hashem, I'm, I'm going to go with Midas HaChesed, because Lamaisa, you are a person who works with other people with a Midas HaChesed, and my Val Medoisov. And not always do we have the koiches to do that. Not always do we say, you know what, no matter what people do to us, it's the, I'm a mava midoisov, it's letoive, it's letoive. But if we can at least ingrain ourselves to remember it's not him, it's a Kaddish Baruch Hu, that even when people do something to us that we don't like, we say, you know what, I'm not going to say letoive yet, but I'm going to say it's not him, it's a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Have a wonderful Shabbos.